All right, all you cool cats and kittens, here we go. We got chapters 16, or books 16 through 20 of Beowulf that we're going to talk about here now. So, the treasure just keeps right on coming. Uh, book 16 is all about more treasure. Like, Hrothgar gives the uh, Beowulf more treasure, swords, gives them all of his companions swords as well orders that uh, money be given to the widow and the family of the man that was slain by Grendel. Um, and then they launch into a song. And they're talking about the sons of Finn. Naphtha Shielding, famed warrior of the Half Danes. Now this is a story that is told about Finn and Hildeborah and Again, the idea is that this is part of that old English ideal, and this continues from book 16 through into book 17. Even though they are celebrating and they're happy that Grendel is gone, they're still talking about death. Again, that idea that life is lane or life is transitory, that this world is not where we're destined to spend eternity. And the only thing that matters is what's left behind when you go. That fame, that renown that you have earned, and the good deeds that you have done. That's all that matters. So that goes from book 16 through into book 17. And then about halfway through book 17, things stop. Uh, the gleeman is done seeing, singing. And then everybody starts partying and drinking and eating again. And then Wachtheo, the queen, comes down. And she has a cup. And she gives the cup first to um, Hrothgar and says, Take this cup, my liege lord, giver of treasure. Be thou of glad heart, generous friend of men. And speak to the Geats with words of kindness, so should one do. Be gracious towards the Geats, mindful of gifts, now that thou hast peace near and far. So she gives the cup to him, and then she turns to Beowulf. And Beowulf is sitting there next to Hrothgar and their two sons. And she gives the cup to Hrothgar. And... Then she gives him, again, more treasure, two arm jewels, a coat of mail, rings, the fairest of collars I ever heard tell of on earth. And then Wachtheo says, take joy in this collar, dear Beowulf, youth blessed of fortune, and use this mail and these treasures of the people and thrive well. Give proof of, give proof of thyself by thy might and be friendly in giving counsel to these youths. I shall keep in mind thy due therefore. So, Wachtheo gives her own gifts, and we continue on page 25. She sits down, and they continue, again, drinking and, and, and partying and enjoying themselves, and things continue on through the night. And then book 19 hits. In book 19, um, people are starting to fall asleep. And everybody's kind of going off doing their own things. And then Grendel's mother shows up. Now, in some places, Grendel's mother is described as a she wolf. Um, she is a monster herself. She, uh, she is one of, um, the descendants of Cain as well. And she's a horrible monster herself. She's a little bit weaker than Grendel, um, because she is a woman. Again, a little closet sexism here, you know, no, no big deal. Um, but she comes in, she kills a man. And then that wakes everybody up, and they take their war, their shields, and their and their swords. You know, Hrothgar's not there. Beowulf's not there. Page twenty-seven. It says, 
for before then, after the treasure giving, another resting place had been fixed upon for the mighty Gaiot. So nobody, so there, these these warring men are left by themselves to try to fight off Grendel's mother, and it doesn't work out very well. Um, um, Hrothgar, sorry, totally drew a blank there for a second. Hrothgar shows up, and he's sad to find out that his friend Ashir is dead. And then the sun rises, and Beowulf and his men come striding in. They're like, hey, hey, what's going on? Why is everybody so sad? They had no idea anything even happened. And that's where book 19 ends. Book 20 then starts off with Hrothgar saying to Beowulf, We've got another problem. Like, I don't know where she went. Um, they killed my friend Ashir. She hath avenged thine onslaught that thou did, didst kill Grendel yesternight in pitiless wise by the close grip. So he once again turns to Beowulf. He says, I've heard people talk that they have seen twain as these. Twain means two. I've, they've seen two of these. The first they call Grendel. The second is a female form. And he has an idea, because of the people that he's talked to, of where these monsters had lived. And he says, if you're willing... I'm going to ask for your help one more time. The only one who can possibly kill Grendel's mother is you, Beowulf. And Beowulf says to him, or, and he says to Beowulf, near, at the end of chapter of book 20, on page 28, Now again is help in thee alone. That country thou knowest not yet, the fearsome place where thou mayest find the much sinning one. Seek it if thou darest. I shall requite thee for the strife with gifts for the keeping, with old-time treasures and twisted gold as I did before, shouldst thou come thence away. This is, this is Rothgar turning to Beowulf, and he's like, Help me, Beowulf. You're my only hope. And that's where book 20 ends. So we'll pick up book 21 next week. <laughs>